In hard or rocky soil, an auger may be necessary to make a sensor hole. As the hole is drilled, the cuttings should be collected and saved. Mixing the cuttings with water will make a slurry or mud that is used to grout in the sensor for good soil contact. Mix the slurry well, taking care to discard any rocks or pebbles while mixing. Pour some of the mud into the hole so that as the sensor is inserted, it seats into the soft, wet soil. After initial conditioning, the sensor is soaked in clean water prior to installation. The pipe should be permanently secured to the sensor using ABS to PVC cement and have a small hole drilled at the bottom to allow drainage and a vent to the soil for air that escapes from the sensor. Firmly insert the assembly to the bottom of the hole, leaving as much pipe above ground as desired to make the location easy to find and access the sensor wires for reading. Use some of the mud to fill the annular space around the pipe. A thin rod is used to tamp down the loose soil around the sensor, helping to ensure a good snug fit between the sensor and the soil. Mound up more of the mud and loose soil around the top of the pipe to keep water from puddling. This keeps water from running down the pipe and giving a false reading. The sensor should only see the water that percolates down through the undisturbed soil. To take a sensor reading, temporarily attach the alligator clips of the meter leads to the sensor wires. Wake the meter up from sleep mode with a single push of the read button. A second push of the button supplies the sensor value. The reading should be recorded and graphed on the chart paper for easy analysis.